Welcome back to my Messy to Minimal Mama journey, where today I bring you a real-life messy hoarder, small bathroom, clean, declutter, and organize. Yes, I am continuing on in this minimalism journey and on this hoarder house cleanup series of mine to get my spaces clean, decluttered, and organized. And this small bathroom right here definitely needs some attention. So if you're looking for that real life clean and motivation because you are a hoarder or maybe you just need some motivation to declutter the spaces in your home or maybe you're suffering from anxiety or depression and cleaning house, then this video is definitely for you. Keep on watching because we are going to declutter our homes and minds together. Let's get started. Did you guys know that 90% of the water we drink and the food we eat contains microplastics and that these plastics are polluting our oceans as well as our wildlife? Scientists predict that in 2050, the ocean will contain more plastic by weight than fish. You guys, that is super scary, especially being a mom, always worried about my kids' futures. I'm always looking for ways that I can help save the planet and the future of my children and all children. Blue Land products make this possible. Blue Land wants to make it easy to be eco with innovative products and reusable packaging that are convenient, effective, and affordable, and also sourced from clean ingredients. Not only are the scents amazing, but they are also made without chlorine, bleach, ammonia, and parabens. Blue Land's Essential Cleaning Kit and Hand Duo has everything you need to get started on making cleaning at home eco-friendly. They provide you with their forever bottles and the cleaning tablet, which allows you to save money, space, and the planet. I especially love how the Blue Land bottles are color coordinated to the tablets as well as labeled. Blue Land really does help reduce the single use plastics in your home. And lately I've started to realize just how many plastic single use bottles I am throwing away and how much money I'm spending on these cleaning products. With Blue Land, it's super easy to use. You just fill your bottle with water and then you drop your tablet, wait a few minutes, put on the nozzle, and you're ready to clean. Unlike your traditional liquid cleaners that are sold in single-use plastics, with Blue Land, all you need to clean your house or hands is this nickel-sized tablet. Stop paying for wasteful plastic bottles. You are throwing away money when you throw away plastic bottles. I have paid up to five or six dollars for a bottle of cleaner. With Blue Land, it's just two dollars a tablet. Two dollars is how much you pay for this bathroom cleaner right here. And if you buy in bulk, you could pay as low as a dollar fifty-five, and that really adds up. Save money, space, and save the planet just by switching to Blue Land products. All you have to do is click the link below to save 20% off your first kit. You don't want to miss this because seriously, they never do this. So give Blue Land a try and start saving the planet while you clean your home. So now we're going to jump right into cleaning up this small bathroom. This is definitely a hoarder bathroom because this bathroom right here always has an accumulation of stuff whether it's me or the kids. And honestly, this is where I like to get ready because I don't have my own private bathroom and I just prefer being in this bathroom more than the bathroom upstairs where everybody gets ready. So I kind of use this as my own little private powder room and I had accumulation of some of my clothing. I also have some storage containers that I brought down for this clean, declutter, and organize today because you guys are gonna see like how cluttered underneath this sink cabinet is. It is so bad. And as you just seen, the sink was super grimy and gross. I told you guys that all spaces in my home were a complete disaster because of this crazy month I had, but that's okay because we're gonna get it all cleaned up today. And I'm gonna be able to finally declutter and organize under this cabinet. And I want to clean it all out, declutter it so that I can organize all of my makeup and like personal hygiene products. I just want to create a space that is my own. I do have a space upstairs, but I'm going to be changing that around. I want to make that more like kid friendly so the kids can have all their stuff there. Um, I also have like toothbrushes and things down here of the kids because it was just easier at night to have them brush their teeth down here before going to bed. But I want to change all this around. So definitely keep on watching because we are going to not only clean this bathroom, but we are going to declutter and organize underneath the cabinets. So if you have a little cluttered cabinet that you have been waiting to declutter and organize, this is the perfect opportunity. Let's do it together. If I could do this, you could do this. I want you to get some sort of space decluttered right along with me today and organize because 
you know, it always feels good to clean a space and declutter it and organize it so that we can live more minimal and just less stressed. Yeah. I don't wanna slow down, I don't wanna slow down, I don't wanna slow down till I burn out. I just wanna live fast, I don't wanna look back and say I could've done more than I did now. Sometimes it can be hard, yeah, it can be hard, yeah, it can be hard when you grow up. People fill you with doubt, you start thinking about what you're gonna do now. But we, only got one chance and got one life to live. And it's do or die, gotta make it count, so lose your worries. Your problems go on Until my whole body burns out I ain't never gonna slow down So as you guys seen, this sink was super grimy. I wasn't lying when I told you the rest of my house was a complete disaster. And yes, I know the sink was pretty bad, but it wasn't what you think it is. Actually, my daughter is a diehard crafter. Most of you guys here know that. So there's always a lot of painting and, you know, coloring going on in this house and Play-Doh and modeling clay and food dyes and slime. Yes. Whoever thought of slime? Like, seriously? Bro, what were you thinking? Like, us mamas need any more work in our day and stress? Anyways, my daughter loves slime. She drives me crazy. She's always asking me, mom, can I make slime? And she doesn't just make the simple slime. Like, she has to add all the food colorings and anyways, that is why the sink is a mess because this is where she washes her hands after all of her craft play. She'll wash her hands before dinner here. And then my little guy, he loves playing in the dirt. He loves construction trucks and excavators. So I have a little dirt area where I typically have my tomato garden. And so before I plant my tomatoes, I always allow him to kind of like dig into the dirt and play outside with it. So this is why the sink looks so bad. And honestly, if I do not clean the sink every three days, it gets really gross like this. So that explains that. But let me tell you guys, this Blue Land bathroom cleaner is amazing. Seriously, like I sprayed it on. I let it sit for a little bit. And then I took paper towels because I just wanted to be able to throw it away. I did not want to have to deal with having all that grimy yuckiness and food coloring on a rag and have to spend the extra time rinsing that out in between wipings. So yes, I did use paper towels in this cleaning because it just was going to go much quicker for me and much more sanitary, let's be real. So I just wanted to get it all wiped out and throw it away. And then I did end up rinsing out the sink after with a rag and water just to give it a nice rinse down before I dried it. But you guys, that Blue Land bathroom cleaner is amazing. Like all their products are so good. They smell amazing. And I was really surprised. I thought I was going to have to put some elbow grease into this cleaning. And you know what? Everything wipes off pretty good. I had to do a little bit of scrubbing in the bottom of the sink just to get the stains out. But it worked really good. I was really impressed and I am obsessed with the multi-purpose cleaner. The lemon scent is amazing. Oh my goodness. It just makes everything smell so fresh. They all smell really good, but this is like fresh cut lemon. I love it. So here I'm finally putting everything back on the shelves. Now I really wanted to go with more of a minimal look and I picked up these wickered baskets because you guys know me and my storage baskets. <laughs> Anyways, so my goal with these baskets was to provide functional storage but also add that warmth into the space since everything is really gray and cold looking and feeling. So I was trying to provide a functional but also pretty and minimalist way to store all of my products that I will be storing on the shelves here. Anything's going to look much better than it did before. Make sure you watch through to the end to see that before and after. I don't want to waste time. I don't want to waste time. I don't want to waste time on fake friends. I just want to get high. I just want to get high. I just want to get higher. Sometimes people will try to hold you back from being who you want to. Don't be questioning why. Do whatever feels right. Find your passion and fight. Because we only got one chance and got one life to live. 
And it's do or die, gotta make it count So lose your worries, let your problems go on Until my whole body burns out I ain't never gonna slow down So I'm just finishing up cleaning up this toilet area and this is like the hardest room in my house to film. It's so tight. I'm like trying my hardest to get some good angles. So I apologize like if my butt's in your face in certain moments. Um, it's just really hard to film in this small space. But I was really trying to bring that real life cleaning in here and, you know, take you guys with me the whole way through. I wanted to point out that, yes, I know that my toilet seat has a black discoloration because I know some of you are going to notice that and you're going to ask what it is. Honestly, I have no clue. Um, I typically wash my toilet with bleach and for some reason, the adult seat, I purchased this. It's like a toddler adult duo toilet seat. Uh, for when my toddler was potty training and um, for some reason the adult seat it's not made of plastic but the toddler seat is and so when I use the bleach and I like wipe it away it literally wipes off the white paint so there must be like a darker seat that exists underneath the white paint and it's bleeding through. So I have no clue what's going on. I have no idea what this toilet seat is made of, but I'm definitely gonna be taking this off soon because my toddler does not even use this anymore. So now that this small bathroom is finally cleaned up, I am going to run a quick mop over the floor. Then I'm gonna jump into underneath the sink cabinets and we're gonna get decluttering and organizing. So I really hope that you guys are cleaning or decluttering a space right along with me. Let's do this, keep going. <laughs> So I always start out by removing all of the items out of the space. And so here I am removing everything out of the cabinet. I'm not even thinking twice about what it is. I just wanna get it out of the space and clear the space so that we can move forward with the decluttering process by looking at all the items, all the clutter, and then sorting it into different categories and deciding on what you're going to keep, what you're going to throw away or donate. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at how much clutter came out of that space. So much stuff. Oh, that's a comb stuck to the package. This is a potty training book. Um, Over here, I got a cleaning tool. Um, Let's see. Oh, this is some sort of skincare thing. My hair care stuff. Um, I have my daughter's little travel bag. And then here is like a ton of stuff mixed together hair items, jewelry, I don't even know. There is so much stuff in the space. There's dental care items, more cleaning supplies, more hair items. Um, here are some attachments for the hair tools. And look at more plastic bottles, you guys. And then over here, this bin is just filled with, filled with random personal hygiene products, like, you know, the dental care, peroxide, hair stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and give this cabinet a big wipe down and then we're going to get started on putting everything back so that we can create a home for everything we're going to keep and then organize it in some sort of a specific way. So I decided to start by emptying this bigger bin that has all these random personal hygiene products and I am just sorting everything into different categories. And so basically I'm going to group like dental care together and then any type of hair care together, then any cleaning products. And then if there's any hair tools, I'm just going to wrap them up, put them up on the sink to separate them from all the madness hair. Um, and so, yeah, I'm just going to be sitting here sorting things out in different piles and categories. 
And then I'm also going to be wiping stuff down because of course you get your leaks and things like that with products. So some stuff needed to be wiped down and I'm going to be taking care of that as well. And yeah, just sorting everything into different categories so that we can declutter this hoarder pile and finally be able to minimize the things that I need in this small bathroom and get it organized and under control. So while I sit and sort everything out, I'm going to play you guys some music so you guys can so you guys can get into your groove to clean, declutter or organize whatever it is you're choosing to do right along with me today and we're going to get this done. So let's go. Shooting me with words, but I won't let them bruise Even though it hurts, I won't show it to you Cause it will ricochet So now comes the fun part, the part I love the most, and that is the organization. Now I get to organize all the items that I have chosen to keep, and I'm going to try to keep it minimal, but there are some items that I discovered I had that I forgot I had, because, you know, typical hoarder problems. So I really want to use those, so I decided I'm not going to buy anything else until I use up what I have. So for my hair care items, I actually started to organize them in one of the wickered bins, but I decided later, you will see, I switch it to a different bin because it just wasn't going to hold all the stuff. But these little wickered baskets came in handy for my skincare items. And so any type of skincare items that I have, I put it on the shelf in the wickered basket just as a visual reminder that I have the stuff there. And so every day I'm going to make a point to use the items in that basket and, you know, refrain from buying anything new and use up what I have already. Um, that is another part of this messy to minimal journey is to really cut back on spending and overbuying when I don't need to. So I'm happy about that. And it's also going to be a nice visual reminder to take care of my skin every day. So remember, decluttering and organizing a space can be beneficial to your life in so many ways, not just having a clean space, but because you're going to know exactly the items you have, and then you're going to want to use those items. So you're going to spend more time on yourself using those items. And in the end, you're doing self-care. You're also using the money that you spent already. You're saving money by not repurchasing new items before you use up what you have. There's just a ton of benefits that come from decluttering and organizing a space. And I am loving this minimalism journey. And I always say that minimalism is not one size fits all. You know, it's all about what season you're in right now in your life. Maybe you're a mom like me and you have three kids and a husband and a dog. So you're going to have things, you know, you're not going to be able to have that empty space with one plant in the corner, which goals when I'm an old lady, you best believe my house is going to be so minimal. That's all I want. <laughs> and hopefully I'm still on YouTube and I could bring you guys that inspiration. 
But for now, I'm a mom, I have a lot of kids, and they come with a lot of stuff. And you know, it's just what it is. So the best thing we can do is try to stay on top of decluttering those items that keep coming through and making sure that you know we're not over purchasing items that we already have and then also keeping all the items organized. That's why I am obsessed with storage bins. I am definitely a hoarder of storage bins. I've talked about this in the past, and if you've been around, you already know. Anyways, let's get back to organizing this hoarder small bathroom, and I hope you guys are moving right along with me. We're gonna keep jamming out. So I really hope that this real life messy hoarder, small bathroom, clean, declutter and organize got you up and cleaning right along with me and motivated you to either clean, declutter or organize a mess in your home. It feels so good to be moving right along on our messy to minimal journey. I know sometimes life throws us curveballs and it can take us a few steps back just like myself but that's okay. The main goal here is to never give up, keep pressing forward, and move it along on this minimalism journey. Eventually, your home is going to be that clean, decluttered, and organized home that you've always wanted, and I'm not giving up. So remember, if I could do this, you could do this. Thank you guys so much for being here for me. You guys have no idea how much you help me with my anxiety and depression and cleaning house. I really want you guys to know just how much I appreciate all of you and for you taking your time out right now to come here and hang with me or clean with me. You have no idea how much you guys help me with my anxiety, depression, and just staying motivated. You guys are not subscribers to me. You guys are my friends, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. And so I just want to thank you so much for being here. I really hope that I brought that real life clean and motivation for you today, and I helped you to move right along on our messy to minimal journey so that we could not only declutter our homes, but declutter our minds as well. So for now, I'm gonna say stay mighty and God bless, and I will be back with another one. And don't forget to watch all the way through to the end to see the satisfying before and after. I just wanna